Welcome back to my channel. This is my dog Luna. Hi! <laughs> Why does she hate me? Today is story time Sunday. Before we start, I want to tell you guys that tomorrow is a year since I started YouTube. Like, it's good when I started, oh yeah, since I uploaded my first video. That's crazy, a year since I uploaded my first video. And also, thank you for subscribing. More people have 130 subscribers. Awesome. Anyway, so today's video is going to be two story times that are kind of like related, but not really. So, the first story time. Um, happened when I was in junior high school, so it was a couple years ago. And I was dating this one guy, and I asked you in my last video to tell me like some like douchebag names, so you could go ahead and comment some douchebag names because I don't have a name for him yet. So yeah, just comment a douchebag name in the description below. This is a story time about him, but it's not like about him. Like it's not a story time I want to tell about him, so you should still comment names below. Anyway. So I had just started dating him. It was like December, and in Miami there's this festival. Well, not festival. It's like a um, like a theme park and it's called Santa's Enchanted Forest which is basically what it sounds like <laughs> it's like a Santa or Christmas themed like park where there's like rides it's like a fair kind of thing so I hadn't been there in a while and it was like we had to start dating and I thought it was like a really good idea if we went like on a date there so it was I believe maybe like a Friday or something and that day was also my stepdad's like annual Christmas dinner because every year his company like does a Christmas dinner and like everybody goes and like it's whatever and I had gone every year so I was like damn I can't miss it and like my stepdad had already told them I would be there because it's like that you have to give like a head count or whatever like who's gonna be there so I told my boyfriend I was like well I have this dinner where you can pick me up there and then like we can go to the park so He's like, okay, I'll bring my cut, I'll bring my cousin, my brother, and then like our friend, too. So he picked up um, my friend, and then he obviously brought his his brother, and his cousin couldn't come. So then he picked me up, and my mom has like this really strict rule where um, you have to come inside. Like whenever someone picks me up, they have to come inside, say hi, and be like, okay, yeah, I'm taking your daughter out. Like she's really old school, like that. So she had to come inside the restaurant, say hi to everyone that's like my stepdad's coworkers or whatever, like managers and shit, and then be like, oh yeah, we're going. She she would ask them like, oh, what are you, where are you guys going? And then he'd be like, oh yeah, we're going to Santa's Enchanted Forest or whatever. So he came inside to the restaurant. He said hi to everybody. It was really awkward because all like we had just started dating too. So like all of my stepdad's coworkers were like. Oh, so this is your boyfriend, and it's just like really weird. So we left and we got in the car, and we we're like jamming, we we're like, I don't know, I'm sitting in the front seat, he's sitting, um, my people are sitting in the back seat, we're just having a good time, we're like hyped, we're excited, we're gonna have a good time, we're like, yes, or whatever. So we're just driving, he had just picked me up, and then we're on the highway, and he's like, You hear that? And I was like, No. But like, you have to keep in mind that at this point, I wasn't like a driver yet, I was just learning to drive. So like, I didn't know like how to like watch out for like weird noises or like weird vibrations in the car. I just like didn't know anything like that. So he like pulls over to the side of the road and it's like his car, his tire is like flat, like completely flat. We're like, oh shit. And it's really scary because it's like, not just like any road, it's like a highway, it's like a major highway. So like, it's just, it's scary, you know, like, and it's nighttime and like, what if a car doesn't see us? And it's just it was scary so I'm like oh shit my mom's gonna kill me and I'm just like okay you know I'm not gonna tell her we're just gonna change the tire and then like keep going you know like just go on with our day and like not even tell her anything so I'm like okay we can just change the tire right where's your spare tire and then he's like oh and you sound like a pig <laughs> oh, I'm going. Anyway, he's like oh I don't have a spare tire and I was like what do you mean you don't have a spare tire like what do you mean you don't have a spare tire who doesn't have a spare tire nowadays stop it I'm trying to record a video Luna anyway so I'm like shit like what are we gonna do now so I was like okay I'm still not planning on telling my mom because I know she's gonna get pissed and like she's not about that life so I'm like let's call a tow truck then so he calls a tow truck and then like we eventually have to tell our parents because he has to go with the tow truck and then like the, the tow truck only has like a certain amount of like seats and stuff so we call my mom and my friend's mom and she's they're like pissed they're like pissed like super pissed because they have to like pick us up or whatever and yeah so then my mom's like yelling at him and she's like you have to get a spare tire but my daughter's never getting in your car ever again and very embarrassing and my mom would never let him live it down and how, who doesn't have a spare tire for real like that's just like something you have to have even if it's just like a like a like a boot or what's it called a donut or something like that but no he didn't have anything so 
we were stranded at the on the highway and we didn't get to go where we wanted to go and then like we got in trouble like i got in trouble for that because my mom i was only 16 so my mom was like very strict and i understand i guess second story it's also a story on the highway okay so i used to live in miami from when i moved to the united states up to high school so in high school i moved to like 40 minutes north so not in miami but like close to miami and we would still go to Miami like very often because we had all our friends there and like my doctors were still in Miami and like it was, we just went a lot to Miami so we went like almost once a week or like at least like every two weeks like we would always go and I would never switch my doctors back to like Broward doctors because there's no like I don't know I had seen the same doctor my whole life I just didn't feel like we had to switch doctors so I guess that day we went to a doctor's appointment and we were on our way back from the doctor and when we were on the highway it was like crazy traffic like like we were in tra like in traffic for a long ass time like like bumper to bumper traffic not like you were like going slow like we were stopped like completely stopped in the middle of the road so we're sitting there for like literally like not exaggerating like two hours like not exaggerating and when i got in the car at first i didn't have to pee but then of course after two hours in the car i decided that i needed to pee so i'm just trying to hold down like okay maybe the traffic will subside eventually like maybe we'll actually move because we weren't moving at all and then like, okay, so it gets worse. The pee feeling gets worse and worse and worse. And then I tell my mom, mom, I have to pee. And she's like, um, well, I don't know. Like, what can we do? Like, we're literally like in the middle of the traffic, like in the middle of the highway. It's not like I could just like walk to a gas station because we're in the middle of the highway. It's not like, like, it's not like I can stop in the middle of on the side of the road and pee because the highway was like, not like on a bridge, but it was not like a part of the highway where there was like trees or behind or bushes where I could pee be behind. It was like literally like, railing and like road and like a bunch of cars just stopped so it was like it's kind of like when you think of movies where like a natural disaster or like um alien invasion where like the whole traffic stops and everybody's just looking like at what happens and people like get out their cars to go look like what just happens and what literally it was like literally like that so we're in the in traffic and we're like in the middle lane kind of and the lane next to us was like an rv and my mom's like, oh, there's an RV there. Maybe you can knock on their door. <laughs> Maybe you can knock on their door and ask them if you can pee in their bathroom. And I was just like shy. Like, I don't even know. I was like, I was probably like 15 or 16 at this point. So I was not going to knock on their door and be like, can I use your bathroom? Like, that's just weird. So I, like, I considered it. I, I was looking at the RV like, hmm, do I knock on their door? Do I not knock on their door? I knock on their door and I was like, I was really, I was about to get out of the car too, but I was like, no, I can't do it. I was like, mom, do you have anywhere I can pee or a water bottle? Do you have anything I can pee inside of? And she's like, I have this Ziploc bag. And at first I'm like, nah, nah, I can't, I can't pee in a Ziploc bag. No, I won't do it. So I'm just, I'm still waiting. Time goes by. I'm like, like jumping up and down, like, like, you know, like you need to pee and you're kind of like antsy and you can't like, you know, you just can't. So that's just me. I'm like sitting there and I'm like, oh my god, I need to pee. I'm trying to distract myself. I'm trying to be on my phone. I'm trying to listen to music. I'm trying to, you know, get my mind off of it. But like, you know, I can't like, you know, I think scientifically, I don't know, I'm not sure if this is true, but I'm pretty sure that I learned in, a, in one of my classes that humans could only hold their pee for an hour and a half. Like that's the max. So well, I guess it depends on like the person, but like that's like average. So I'm just like, okay, I need to pee. So then I'm like, okay, mom, <laughs> give me that Ziploc bag. So I go to the back seat to my mom not to turn around. Although like, she for some reason she doesn't like like it's not it's not weird for her to see me naked because she's like obviously like birthed me. But like if she saw me naked, it'd be so like weirded out. But she was like, whatever. So she turns around and it's really weird because there's like cars next to us and there's an RV next to us. So like it's high up. I'm pretty sure they could like if they look down, they can see like inside my car me peeing in my Ziploc bag. So I go to the back of the car. And I open the Ziploc bag, and it's not like a big Ziploc bag, it's like the small Ziploc bags. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> so I open the Ziploc bag, I squat over it, and I pee. And then it's just like a, like it's filled to the brim, like this poor little Ziploc bag. And I'm like, what do I do now? Do I throw it out the window? Like, what do I do? Like, what do I do with the Ziploc bag? So I, I zip it up. Good thing it wasn't one of those, like, because you know, there's like the zipper one, and there's the ones that you like like you like press closed good thing this one was a zipper one because it was the other ones i feel like that thing would burst all over me and that would have been a disaster like that would have been disgusting anyway so i close it up and then i'm like mom you have any napkins because if you guys don't know well you probably don't because you don't know my mom <laughs> but she works as a delivery driver so she had napkins in her car like i guess she just always has napkins in her car so passes me a napkin i wipe myself 
put my pants up and just sit there with my pee in my hand waiting to get home because <laughs> I didn't throw it out the window because I would be like weird so I just waited to get home and when I got home I ran to the bathroom and dumped the, <laughs> dumped the pee in the toilet and flushed it and then I threw it away in the vlog bag yeah and I will always remember this moment because that is like quick thinking you know like I had a problem and we figured it out and I peed when I needed to be yeah and you guys do you guys remember this background if you guys remember this background then you've been watching me since day one because this is where I used to film when I first started YouTube that's crazy right it's gonna be a year since I posted my first video and actually watched my first video the other day and it was like terrible but I'm gonna link it below anyway so you guys want to make fun of me you can make fun of me so if you want to make fun of me you can make fun of me by watching my first video which is terrible so bad I look so ugly the angles were not good the camera quality was not good the lighting was not on point not good like like i don't know what i was doing but you know you gotta start somewhere so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and then i'll see you guys next week bye bye i don't really care if you cry